In today's demo, we're going to be introducing a new feature called Prompt-Driven Automation. Prompt-Driven Automation allows you to interact with users inside or outside of your organization and leverage their responses directly into your playbook. This removes the need for manual, tedious human communication and allows you to improve mean time to remediation. Today, we're going to walk through a use case related to vulnerability management where when a ServiceNow ticket is created that indicates a particular asset has an associated vulnerability, we want to have a comment in that ticket allowing our vulnerability management team to indicate if there's any deviations. When looking into our prompt, we can see a few things. First, we see that there's a Splunk Store Users and Others option. Splunk Store Users indicates how prompts traditionally were, while Others is the new prompt-driven automation workflow. The next thing you'll notice is that we do have support for SAML authentication allowing you to verify that the responder of your prompt is who they say they are. And by enabling this, we can further scope to specific roles within our SAML group. Next, we're going to look at how we add a comment to the ServiceNow ticket. With our distribution actions, we're able to add the ServiceNow comment, reference the ticket ID, and include a note indicating what the prompt is for. Here we're saying answer the prompt below to indicate the deviation and the associated justification for that deviation. We're also including a note that the user has 24 hours to respond to the prompt. When going to our questions, we have our introduction mes message indicating the deviation and associated justification is requested. And in question one, we offer them to select which is the associated deviation. And in question two, if they picked risk reduction as the chosen deviation, we want them to indicate what the new severity level of this vulnerability should be. Note that question one is required while question two is not required because it's optional based on the answer to question one. And finally, we have an open response allowing the user to provide justification for why they selected this deviation. And next, we're able to indicate the time to live for this prompt. So since we've given them 24 hours, we've indicated that 1,440 minutes should be the time to live for this prompt. And we can see that we're able to go and leverage the responses from that prompt to see has the user selected risk reduction, and if so, can we update the severity of the ticket accordingly. With prompt-driven automation, we take manual communication workflows that would have took hours if not days to a mere seconds in an automated fashion.